I just picked it up. <coughs> it was dropped off in our mailbox about 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. Looks alive and well. Start acclimating it. I was trying to decide which tank to put it in. The two candidates is this tank with Lima shovel nose, ornate pims, pictus, glass catfish. But the fish of concern here are bikers, bishers, bi yo yo loach. I don't think Black Ghost Knife will attack it, but who knows. Like ghost, yo-yo loach is probably my biggest concern. And the other candidate is this tank with Nile Perch, Silver Rowana, and little tiger, uh, tigriness, tig catfish, but I don't want to risk tigs. They're too small and they, I mean that one hasn't started feeding yet. These three are feeding, but they're not, they're not comfortable. And plus they're a little too small and fragile, so I decided to put it in this tank and just observe. There is a lot of furniture in there, but I hope to be able to to see the little guy anyway. There you go, sweetie. Looks like an alevin. The larvae of eel. Yeah, there is a pretty good sized scrape on the right where the pelvic fins are. So those probably the prior owner had I mean the seller had, had them together at some point or something. Or maybe it scratched itself on the decoration, who knows? Hopefully you'll find a nice little nook, huddle up and get comfortable. My thinking was that uh, it's important, because they're so, such slow feeders, it's important for the food to be laying around for some time before it's consumed by the tank mates. So that other tank was perfect, but because of the tig cat, tig, tigs, I didn't want to put them there. I'm gonna to have to f put more food in here so that it lays around a little longer for the little lungy to come over and get it. Also, I, I'm concerned because we did have four lungfish before. Our biggest was 40 inches. West African, the same as this one. Prodopteros, anectans, anectans, I think, or just one anectans. And the other one was two and a half feet. And then we also had a marbled Ephiopicus, Prodopteros Ephiopicus, the, the giant. And something happened with them, I don't know. Uh, the, the smaller one, I think, if memory serves, drowned when, when one of the tanks overfilled and it had no access to air. But the big one and the Ephiopicus were in this system and they died from some kind of infection, I think. Because that was closely spaced in time. Same system. So we haven't had any lungfish for probably like three years. No, oh, actually more. Maybe another four years. So this is the first time one of the Africans I'm trying again. Of course we have Louis, the South American lungfish that's doing pretty well. But this is the first African I'm trying again to to keep. Yep, 
It's pretty uncomfortable right now, but hopefully it'll come down and everything will be fine. The little lungfish settled in that little decoration over there. I don't know how well you can see him. Sometimes he hangs out of here, like, which is cute. Not far from the surface, I guess he likes it to be.